Could India's future nuclear submarine fleet become the cornerstone of its national security? A question of no small significance as India's strategic position in the Indian Ocean, coupled with a robust naval power, could create a strong deterrent against potential threats. India's naval history is as rich and diverse as the country itself. From the Chola dynasty's vast seafaring empire in the early centuries AD to the modern Indian Navy, India's maritime prowess has always been a crucial factor in its security and prosperity. The Indian Navy, the seventh largest in the world, has played pivotal roles in various conflicts and peacekeeping missions. In this vast array of naval power, the jewel in the crown is the nuclear submarine fleet. These underwater leviathans are not just symbols of national prestige, but also potent tools of strategic deterrence. They bring a unique combination of stealth, endurance and firepower, allowing them to remain undetected for extended periods while carrying a formidable payload of nuclear weapons. The potential impact of a robust nuclear submarine fleet is immense. It would allow India to project power far beyond its shores, maintain a continuous at-sea deterrent and provide a second strike capability in the event of a nuclear attack. This is particularly important given India's volatile neighborhood and the increasing militarization of the Indian Ocean. But building a nuclear submarine fleet is no easy task. It requires significant technological expertise, massive financial investment and a long-term strategic vision. India has been working towards this goal for several decades and the journey has been fraught with challenges. Yet, there have been significant strides made with the development and operationalization of the Arihant-class submarines serving as a testament to India's determination and ingenuity. The journey, however, is far from over. India's aspirations do not stop at having just a few nuclear submarines. Plans are afoot to build a larger and more advanced fleet, capable of meeting the evolving security challenges of the 21st century. The development of India's nuclear submarine fleet is a complex and intriguing story, a tale of ambition, perseverance and strategic foresight. It's a journey that could reshape the balance of power in the Indian Ocean and beyond. India's journey toward nuclear submarines began over five decades ago. The genesis of this journey can be traced back to the 1970s, when India was exploring ways to strengthen its naval prowess. Amidst the backdrop of a rapidly changing geopolitical landscape, India took a decisive step. It decided to lease a nuclear submarine from the then Soviet Union, a decision that would set the course for its future naval strategy. This marked the commencement of an ambitious plan, one that was to culminate in the launch of India's first nuclear-powered submarine, INS Chakra, in 1988. The INS Chakra was a chariot-class nuclear submarine, leased from the Soviet Union for a period of three years. It provided the Indian Navy with its first taste of nuclear-powered submarines, their operations and maintenance. The Chakra's tenure, however, was short-lived, and it was returned to the Soviets in 1991. Nevertheless, the experience gained from operating the Chakra was instrumental in shaping India's indigenous nuclear submarine program. Fast forward to 2012, India once again leased another nuclear submarine from Russia, this time the Akula-class INS Chakra 2. Unlike its predecessor, Chakra 2 was equipped with more modern technology and capabilities, providing the Indian Navy with invaluable operational experience in the realm of nuclear submarines. This lease was a clear indication of India's unwavering commitment to developing a formidable nuclear submarine fleet. Thus, from the initial plans in the 70s to lease a nuclear submarine to the launch of INS Chakra and the subsequent lease of INS Chakra 2, India's nuclear submarine journey has been one of steady progression. Each step of the way, India has sought to learn, adapt and improve, thereby steadily building its nuclear submarine capabilities. The birth of India's nuclear submarine fleet marked a significant shift in its naval strategy. It marked a transition from a primarily regional power to a budding blue water navy, capable of projecting power far beyond its immediate neighborhood. This shift has not only changed the dynamics of India's naval tactics, but has also significantly influenced its geopolitical standing in the world. India's nuclear submarine fleet is growing and evolving. The fleet has seen significant advancements over the past decade with the indigenous development of INS Arihant and INS Arigat. 
These two vessels serve as shining examples of India's commitment to self-reliance in defense technology, marking a significant step towards the country's goal of a nuclear triad. The INS Arihant, commissioned in the late 2010s, is the first ballistic missile submarine to be built by India. It boasts a displacement of 6,000 tons and is equipped with K-15 Sagarika missiles, giving India a second-strike nuclear capability. Not too far behind, the INS Arikhat, the second ship of the Arihant class, was launched in late 2017. It's more advanced, with a larger missile-carrying capacity, providing a stronger deterrent against potential adversaries. And the evolution doesn't stop there. The future of India's nuclear submarine fleet promises even more progress, with plans already in motion to expand and enhance the fleet's capabilities. One such plan is the Advanced Technology Vessel Project. This project aims to design and build a new class of nuclear-powered attack submarines, which will significantly boost India's undersea warfare capabilities. Furthermore, India is developing the S-5 class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, these vessels will be larger and more advanced than their predecessors, capable of carrying heavier missile payloads over longer distances. Their development signals India's intention to maintain a credible nuclear deterrent at sea, ensuring the country's security and strategic autonomy. In conclusion, the current state of India's nuclear submarine fleet is a testament to the nation's technological prowess and strategic foresight. With the ongoing projects and future plans, India is set to bolster its undersea warfare capabilities and reinforce its position in the Indian Ocean. So as we look to the horizon, we can expect to see India's future nuclear submarine fleet becoming a formidable force in the Indian Ocean. Scene script. However, the road to becoming a naval powerhouse is fraught with challenges. The first hurdle that India must overcome on its path to becoming a formidable naval power is technological. Building a nuclear submarine fleet is no small feat. It requires advanced nuclear propulsion technology, which is a closely guarded secret among the few countries that possess it. India will have to either develop this technology indigenously or acquire it through strategic alliances, both of which are challenging endeavors. The second challenge is financial. Maintaining a nuclear submarine fleet is an expensive proposition, with costs running into billions of dollars. This includes not just the cost of building the submarines, but also their maintenance, upgrades, and the training of personnel to operate them. Given the competing demands on India's budget, finding the necessary funds will be a significant challenge. The third challenge is geopolitical. The Indian Ocean is a contested space, with several countries vying for influence. The deployment of a robust nuclear submarine fleet could escalate tensions and trigger a naval arms race in the region. This could have far-reaching implications for the stability of the Indian Ocean and beyond. Now, let's turn to the potential impacts. A robust nuclear submarine fleet would significantly bolster India's security. It would serve as a powerful deterrent against potential aggressors and provide India with a second strike capability in case of a nuclear attack. This would significantly enhance India's strategic autonomy and influence in the region. Furthermore, the fleet would play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of power in the Indian Ocean. It would enable India to project power far beyond its shores and safeguard its maritime interests. This would be particularly important given the increasing competition for resources and influence in the region. However, it's crucial to remember that a nuclear submarine fleet is not an end in itself but a means to an end. The ultimate goal is to ensure the security and prosperity of India and its people. And for that, India will need to navigate these challenges with skill and diplomacy. Overcoming these challenges will be critical for India to realize its naval ambitions. India's journey towards a powerful nuclear submarine fleet is a story of ambition, resilience and strategic foresight. From its humble beginnings, the nation has strived to establish itself as a formidable naval power. Today, India boasts a robust nuclear submarine fleet, a testament to its technological prowess and strategic planning. The road ahead, however, isn't without its challenges. The nation must navigate potential obstacles, including technological hurdles, geopolitical dynamics and resource constraints. But these challenges also present opportunities for growth and innovation. As India continues to augment its submarine fleet, it will undoubtedly influence its national security landscape and its position within the regional power dynamics. 
The impacts of this journey extend beyond the realm of military might. It's a symbol of India's technological progress, a beacon of its strategic vision, and a testament to its resilience. The future of India's nuclear submarine fleet may very well